Okay, so I got two lists instead of one. And one says 72 Charger calipers and pads. The other one says 76 Monte Carlo calipers, pads, brake holes, and banjo bolts. And I don't know if this is a Charger or a Monte Carlo, but I don't have pads for it, but I think if I take it to the parts store, they can match it up. And I do want to make sure that these are going to fit. So I'll do that, and then I'll run to the store, and I'll get the pads for it and make sure they're good. Once we're sure of that, we can install all of this, and then do the other Okay, side. so I found the receipt, and those... Uh, Calipers on the receiver at actually listed as 72 Dodge Challenger Even though my paper says Charger. I think they're probably The same thing This right there Dodge Challenger Brake caliper I didn't get I didn't get uh, Pads with it though, so I'm gonna need to run over and get some of those Okay, this side is not finalized, but I've got everything in place enough to know that I've got everything except the pads and uh, I've ordered them from parts geek and they should be here in a few days and The master cylinder stuff that I was uh, talking about earlier that's on the way So I'm gonna start taking the other wheel off uh, And it'll be probably pretty easy to uh, go as far as I can go with this tomorrow uh, and then we'll mess with something okay, else. Okay, so I was all done for the day, but I thought, well, I'll just come over here and, oh, just see how difficult it is to get this side done. Well, didn't take hardly any time at all. Uh, this brake line is stripped and probably doesn't matter. It probably needs to be replaced anyway. And this is pretty simple. This line runs into a T-junction right back here. The line on the other end of it goes to the back of the car, and then there's a line that goes right up to here and uh, so what I'll do is um, if I can get that loose well I'm gonna need one line to go to the back so what I may do is if I can get that loose down there um, just plug that off run my new line down there put a T on it and run one side to this side and one side to the other side that'd be pretty quick and easy and uh, yeah so yeah then we'll leave that other side. I'll, I'll re-bend this piece here around and let it run to the back, maybe, or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to knock off and get cleaned up for today. It's been a pretty good day of doing this stuff, and uh, I kind of enjoy it. Uh, I, like, I like doing work like this when I'm not in a rush, and I don't have to hurry or anything. So, you know, it's kind of fun. It's kind of what working on old cars is all about, in a way. It's just having fun with them. And, it's a lot of fun when you're uh, kind of got the time to enjoy it. I'm waiting for parts, so a lot of things I can't do. But uh, a lot of things I can do in the meantime, too. So we'll see how that goes.